All right, today we have uh, Phragmopedium, another one of the long petaled frags, which I really like a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one was tagged as uh, Caudatum, Old Man Moses by Anne's Delight. We're not quite sure if that's the correct idea or not. We're actually uh, working with a couple of experts because it was suggested that it looked a little bit more like Phragmopedium papalii, which has these deep uh, mahogany colors in the petal and petals in the pouch. Also, if you can see the staminode up here is kind of a winged staminode, which is more typical of papalii than caudatum, although the pouch is long and thin, not rounded uh, like papalii, so it's a little confusing. We're still trying to track it down, but in any event, it's a really, really cool flower, very pretty. You can see it's pretty big. <clears throat> uh, see if I can put my hand up here beside it to give you an idea of the scale. And there we go. You can see that's a nice big flower. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I've got the measurements on it. Uh, don't have them right here with me, but it's about eight inches from the tip of the sin sepal to the tip of the dorsal sepal. And the petals have been lengthening at a rate of almost an inch a day. It's pretty amazing. <clears throat> we are down today to about 14 and a half inches. And I don't have the centimeter conversion right in front of me, but that is uh, two more inches just since just, uh, excuse me, two days ago. Two days ago, they were 13.25. I've got it outside right now. Uh, I live in South Florida and it's really hot and very humid right now, which seems to be helping these petals a lot. Uh, extra heat and humidity helps them lengthen, they say. So yeah, really cool flower. Uh, this is the first bloom on this one, but you can see lots of new growth coming. There's a new growth there. There's a new one just starting there at the base. <clears throat> There's one that's about bloom size. So I think on its next bloom we'll probably get, yeah, there's another one in the middle there. I think on its next bloom we'll probably get two spikes at once maybe out of it. Uh, plant is kind of yellow because it's been grown in very high light. Um, uh, Catlia or even Vandalite. In fact it gets nearly full sun all day long. Full sun would burn it so it gets just short of full sun. <clears throat> but you can see really impressive, really cool flower. Thanks a lot for looking you guys.